In this video, I will explain how to import a patch list from a comma separated value file or an XML file. You can find this function in the file item in the menu bar. First, select the file you want to import. Let's start with importing a comma separated value file. Since we don't have an adjustment file yet, we have to create a new one. The next time you want to import a comma separated value file from the same format, you just select the correct adjustment file and finish the wizard. In the adjustment window, you first need to select the separator. You will notice immediately when you have selected the correct separator since the table shows multiple columns then. Next, you have to indicate in which column certain information can be found. It is possible that a single column holds multiple information fields. The name and location field are not required. You can also skip the first and last couple of rows, which contains column names, etc. Now you can save the adjustment file for future use. In the next window, you need to match the found fixtures with the fixtures from your fixture library. These matches will also be stored in your adjustment file. When using the same file format and the same fixtures, this step will be skipped. You make a match by selecting a found fixture in the left list and selecting a fixture from the fixture library in the right list. You can confirm the match by pressing enter, double clicking with the mouse or by pressing the match button. If you leave fixtures unmatched, they will not be imported. When you have selected a match for all the fixtures you want to import, click OK. In the next screen you have to match the universes. If there are no universe yet in the universe list, you can add them first via the add universe wizard. Matching universes works the same as matching fixtures. Select an imported universe in the left list, select an available universe in the right list and click match. Fixtures using unmatched universes will not be patched. When all universes are matched, click OK. If we now switch to the fixture list, we see that the fixture list is populated. You can also import an XML file, for instance an export of the patch from the GrandMA2. This may seem a bit more complicated. First, select the XML file you want to import. Since we don't have an adjustment file yet for the XML files, we have to create a new one. The XML file is displayed as a tree structure. You can fold and unfold the blue items. Again, we need to identify the fields containing useful information. The red fields can be selected for this. You might have to search a bit to find the fields you are looking for. Again, only the location and the name field are not required. If you find an address greater than 512, you may assume the universe info can also be found in this field. When finished, click OK and save the adjustment file for future use. Again, we need to match the found fixtures with the fixtures in the fixture library.
When you have selected a match for all the fixtures you want to import, click OK. In the next screen you have to match the universes again. If there are no universes yet in the universe list, you can add them via the Add Universe wizard. When all the universes are matched, click OK. If we now switch to the fixture list, we see that the fixture list is populated. This is the end of this video. Please watch the rest of the videos for a detailed feature explanation of DMX LAN.